September 22, 2025, a Chinese J-35 stealth fighter roars off the deck of the Fujian carrier, not with a ski jump, with an electromagnetic catapult, full fuel, full weapons, maximum power. It's the first time in history a stealth fighter has launched this way at sea. And here's the twist. America invented this technology, but China just beat us to the punch. The F-35C, the world's most advanced carrier fighter, still hasn't done it. How did this happen? This is the stealth fighter showdown that will define the Pacific. Two nations, two carriers, two fighters built for the same mission. On one side, America's F-35C, Lightning II, the gold standard. Two decades of combat experience. Sensor fusion so advanced it sees the entire battlefield at once. It flies from the USS Gerald R. Ford, the Desparn, the most powerful warship ever built. On the other side, China's J-35, the Challenger, twin engines, rapid development, and as of September 2025, the first stealth fighter certified for electromagnetic catapult operations. It flies from the Fujian, China's first EMALS equipped carrier. Same mission, same stakes, different philosophies. By the way, if you love this kind of deep dive naval analysis, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe subscribe button. This channel is very close to monetization, and your click is the single best way to support this work. Okay, let's break it down. The United States launches the Joint Strike Fighter Program. The goal, build one invisible fighter that can do everything. Lockheed Martin's X-35 wins. It becomes the F-35. The Navy version, the F-35C, is built specifically for carriers. Larger wings, reinforced landing gear, designed to operate against near-peer competitors, against China. February 28, 2019, the F-35C achieves initial operational capability. It's ready for war, and it's already proven itself. Israeli f 35s strike deep inside enemy territory, invisible, unstoppable. November 2024, U.S. Marine F-35Cs fly combat missions against Houthi militants in Yemen. The F-35 isn't theory, it's a weapon, a proven one. But while America was perfecting the F-35, China was building. October 31st, 2012, a jet called the FC-31 takes off in northeastern China. Western analysts dismiss it. They call it a copycat. But Shenyang Aircraft Corporation sees an opportunity. The Chinese Navy needs a carrier-based stealth fighter. The J-20 is too big, too heavy. But the FC-31? Perfect size. So the Navy adopts it. They call it the J-35. October 29, 2021. The Naval J-35 variant takes flight. Folding wings. Catapult launch bar. Reinforced gear. It's no longer a demonstrator. It's a naval fighter. July 8, 2025. Chinese state media releases footage. Rows of J-35 airframes in assembly. The message is clear. Serial production has begun and three months later, history is made. Let's talk capability. The F-35C is a single-engine fighter, one massive Pratt & Whitney engine, divertless supersonic inlet, tailored exhaust nozzles, radar cross-section as low as 0.001 square meters, smaller than a golf ball, nearly invisible. And then there's sensor fusion. The F-35C integrates radar, infrared, and electronic warfare into one seamless display. The pilot sees a complete tactical picture, enemy aircraft, missiles, friendlies, all in real time. It's not just a fighter, it's a flying command center. The J-35, twin engines. China claims they're independently developed. Future variants may use the WS-19 engine. Twin engines have advantages, redundancy, more power, better for carrier ops over the ocean. But they create more heat, a larger infrared signature, more complexity. Chinese state media claims the J-35's radar cross-section is smaller than a human palm. Western analysts are skeptical. The twin engine design creates more surface area, more angles, more more reflections. The J-35 stealth likely isn't as refined as the F-35Cs. But here's what China got right. The mission. The J-35 isn't designed to be better in every way. It's designed to be good enough, in large numbers, at lower cost. And that strategy works. Now the carriers. The USS Gerald R. Ford. Commissioned 2017, 100,000 tons, nuclear-powered, equipped with EMALS, electromagnetic aircraft launch system, smoother launches, less stress, can launch heavier aircraft with more fuel and weapons. But here's the problem. As of September 2025, the F-35C still hasn't launched from the Ford using emails, integration challenges, software issues, testing delays. Now the Fujian, China's Type 003 carrier, commissioned 2024, 80,000 tons, 
guns, three emails catapults, and on September 22, 2025, China does what America hasn't. They launch a stealth fighter using electromagnetic catapults at sea. The J-35 launches, full fuel, full weapons, flawless recovery. China just proved they can do what the U.S. Navy has been working toward, and they did it first. This is a strategic earthquake, because emails enables range and payload, maximum fuel, maximum missiles, maximum combat radius. The J-35 can fly farther, fight harder, stay airborne longer. It transforms the Fujian into a true blue water carrier, a carrier that can project power across the entire Indo-Pacific, the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, anywhere China wants to go. But here's the question, does the hardware even matter? Because the F-35C has something the J-35 doesn't, experience. The F-35 has flown millions of flight hours across dozens of nations. American, British, Israeli, Australian pilots. They've flown it in combat, against real enemies, in real wars. The J-35, zero combat hours. Not a single mission flown in anger. No doctrine, no tactics, no lessons learned. The jet can fly, but can it fight? That's the unknown. The jet is just a tool. The weapon is the pilot. American pilots have been flying stealth fighters since 1997. The F-22 Raptor, they know how to explore stealth, how to coordinate, how to dominate contested airspace. Chinese pilots are starting from scratch. Specs don't win wars. Training wins wars. Experience wins wars. And that's a gap China can't close overnight. But they're closing it fast. China is building an entire ecosystem. Carriers, destroyers, submarines. They're using the same strategy America used, the high-low mix. America has the F-22 Raptor, the high-end monster, and the F-35, the workhorse. China has the J-20, their heavyweight, and now the J-35, their workhorse. They're the only two nations with two operational fifth-generation fighters. That's not an accident. It's a strategy. And there's one more piece, the export market. For decades, the F-35 had a monopoly. You wanted a fifth-generation fighter? You bought American. Now there's an alternative. Nations that can't buy from the U.S. can buy from China, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, UAE, Azerbaijan. Countries with money. Strategic importance. Countries America doesn't want flying Chinese stealth fighters. Even the rumors are a weapon. Reports surfaced that China would sell 40 J-35A jets to Pakistan. Pakistan seemed to confirm, then retracted. Was it real? Misinformation? Leverage? Doesn't matter. The message was sent. The J-35 is available. That's strategic leverage. And China just gained it. So here we are. The F-35C. Proven. Lethal. Backed by decades of experience and the world's most powerful navy. The J-35. New. Untested. Backed by a rising superpower determined to challenge American dominance. The Ford versus the Fujian. The Pacific is the battlefield. China made history on September 22, 2025. But history is just the beginning. The real test comes when the shooting starts. And when that day comes, the winner won't be the side with the newest jet. It'll be the side with the best pilots, the best tactics, the best training, the side that's been there before. And America has been there before. American naval aviation was forged at Midway, at the Coral Sea, at the Philippine Sea, refined in Korea, perfected in the Gulf. The hardware changes. The mission doesn't. Control Control the seas, dominate the skies, protect the homeland. China is rising. The J-35 is real. The Fujian is operational. The threat is here. But so is the response. Block 4 upgrades for the F-35. Sixth generation fighters in development. Unmanned combat aircraft. AI assisted targeting. The race doesn't end. It accelerates. And America doesn't lose races. Not when the stakes are this high. The Ford and the Fujian. The F-35C and the J-35. Two carriers. Two fighters. One ocean. The future of naval warfare isn't written in Beijing or Washington. It's written on the flight decks of these carriers, by the pilots who fly, the sailors who serve, the engineers who build, by those who understand that freedom isn't free. And the seas aren't safe by accident. They're safe because someone is willing to fight for them. Because America's power isn't just in its weapons. It's in the courage of those who wield them. And that's all for today's deep dive. If you enjoyed this analysis and want to see more on naval tech and future showdowns, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. And I want to hear from you. What other topics, like the Ford versus Fujian, do you want me to cover next? Comment your thoughts below, and I'll do my best to make a video on them. Thanks for watching.